This install took around 30 minutes, pretty easy, and it's real flexible and awesome. Today I'm going to show you how to do two things. How to install a dual monitor stand, and also if for some reason you have something like this that's getting in the way and you can't use the regular standard clamp, I've come up with a design here that works <laughs> rock solid for a couple dollars. The reason why we had to do this design is because we couldn't drill a hole in the desk, or we could, and then we'd have to pay some crazy fine for that. And this guy just doesn't work with the narrowness right here. It's only one and a half inches. And that is way more than one and a half inches. But if you had a regular table, you could just use this, clamp it into these holes here with the provided bolts, and you'd be off to the races. These three screws in here, use the Allen wrench provided and screw those all in place. Use your fingers to try to get those in place first before using this little puny Allen wrench to ensure that you've got them aligned inside of the pole. All three screws are in place. It's amazing how strong those screws are. So that just gives you an indication of how strong these <laughs> bolts are and then the bolts that go on the bottom here. They're not going to break away at all. And if you're attacked by zombies, you've got an instantaneous protection device. Here we have this very luxurious plastic piece that covers the screws. We've installed the arms, and the great thing about this design compared to some of them that I have is you got this little plate here that ties down, which I'll show later. But this can mount on the back of the monitor, and you don't have to wrangle the monitor while you're doing all this. And then you just have this little screw right here. And this is an unsponsored review. I got absolutely nothing. And I'm also going to do a follow-on video where I'm using this system for photography equipment. Microphones, monitors, and cameras. I'll post up there when that becomes available. A couple things to point out here. This is a curved monitor. And that's the set that they provide for a curved monitor. It looks a little different. And it has spacers in it, like this, and these. For this flat monitor, you use these guys right here. And they just kind of hand tighten. This, you don't need a Phillips head. You can do both monitors. And they can go vertical, horizontal, or somewhere in between. And then... You turn them like this, up, up, down. Doesn't go all the way down, but I guess you could still lay on the floor and see how it turns. Same thing for this guy. It goes all the way this way, all the way that way, up and down. You can go vertical like this. Although, that would be kind of like that. You're going to want it pretty much most of the time like this. Unless you're laying on the floor, then you do that. So I did use three popsicle sticks here. You could cut those off if it's a permanent install, but I want to have the ability to pull these out and maybe even just slide it around depending on where he wants to be. So I'm going to actually use this piece of wood as a track to slide the mount on. Can't do that if you have the regular set. And then I've got three or four popsicle sticks up here just to offset this piece and tighten it all up. That guy's not going anywhere. Rock solid as I like to say. This is an adjustment that you make, for lack of a better term, neutrally buoyant. There's a plus sign here and a minus sign. And if you just want to increase the friction so that it push it down, it doesn't do that. You gotta add a little. And you want to adjust to the point where you move it and it stays. You don't want it to drop. But look at the range of motion you get on this guy. That's crazy awesome. That's about right. And you can tell because if you push it like this and it's not going anywhere, then you're right there. And every monitor will be different. In the case of this monitor, I didn't have to really do an adjustment at all. It's pretty much there. Again, just push it. And if it doesn't move when you adjust it, you're right where you want it. And you use the enclosed Allen wrench, so don't lose this. 
no matter what install you do, you're going to probably have some extra parts. Keep them because you never know where you might take this monitor stand and put it somewhere else, on a table or another desk that's a little more accommodating than this guy right here, or differently accommodating, I should say. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in tech evaluations, how-to videos, assembly of stuff, designs of all kinds, making and breaking things, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're going to see.